Thanks, Andy. It's exciting to be here to talk about Guardian and share our story with everybody today. I'm the CIO Dean of Guardian. It's a life insurance company. It's been around for 158 years. It's a mutual company of Fortune 250. I'm responsible for all of the technology, setting the direction and the delivery, and a host of shared services, real estate, facilities, sourcing, just to name a few. I joined Guardian five years ago because of its mission, its values, its commitment to its employees, and its customers, but overall, its financial strength. But I also chose it for a professional challenge and to help to make sure it would be around another 158 years. However, like many insurance and financial companies, I inherited a lot of technical debt and legacy systems and platforms that were around for a very long time. 1967, before we put a man on the moon, we implemented our first policy admin system. I like to say the good news is it's still running, but I also like to say the bad news is it's still running. I saw this as an opportunity to take a legacy insurance company into the new digital age and be an enterprise digital facing company in a highly regulated industry. So I'm going to start in a place that may not be expected. I'm going to talk about our workplace strategy. A transformation like this requires you to be a very innovative culture. But in order to do that, you need an environment that supports innovation. So we took on a multi-year journey to replace all of our legacy buildings with those gray walls and high cubes with open, new, bright and airy space designs and open space designs with both formal and informal collaboration space. We looked to do this so it would foster collaboration, teamwork, an agile operating model. We think this is unique in the industry and probably not what you would expect to see from a 158-year-old insurance company. So with that, that sent a clear message to our employees that we were willing to make an investment not only in our workplaces, but in them as well. We invested in technologies to make their jobs easier on a daily basis. We invested in skilling, upskilling, and training them so they can operate and develop in the cloud. We trained over 2,500 of our employees on the new agile safe operating model. And at the same time, we kicked off our technology transformation. We took a year to prepare our environment because we operate in a very highly regulated industry. We wanted to make sure it was enterprise ready before we moved any workloads over to it. We performed gap analysis between what it's like to run in our own hosted environment versus AWS. And believe me, we found gaps. But when we did, the AWS team was there with us every step of the way to make sure we could fill those gaps. Guard Duty and Macy, for example, we worked closely with them to develop those to make sure that we were going to be in a compliant environment. This allowed us to think about our cloud-first strategy. But what I think is more important and more unique about the approach we took we took a production-first approach, which is quite unique, we think, in our industry. What we gained from this was quite a few different things. One is it provided us with a highly scalable, available, and secure, but more importantly, a more efficient way to run our operations. Guardian has over 40 SaaS providers, but only one AWS. And AWS has helped us, as you just heard, maintain our robust security posture. We took a very aggressive approach as well. We migrated over 200 applications in about a 12-month period. And because of this, on November 5th, we were able to do something that not many companies, if any, in our industry has been able to do. We shut down our last and owned operated data center on November 5th. Lights out. Thank you. It was an awesome feeling pressing that power button to shut it down for good. We reduced our data center space by 80%. Now we're truly a cloud first for all things new. This gave us some really good key benefits. Our staff no longer worries about racking and stacking servers and infrastructure. We're focused on new development. We're focused on growing our business and driving business value. The other thing we do too, I personally don't have to worry about managing a data center anymore and all the environmentals that come around with that. We can quickly scale up and scale down with business demands and needs. We can invent, we can test and learn. We can fail quick, we could break new ground. We see ourselves as an innovative company now. It's part of our DNA. 
With one billion going into the insurer tech space, we're ready to partner and participate in accelerated innovation programs now. The AWS platform has allowed us and made it much more easier for us to effectively work and, and with our startups and with our, our investments that we make and, and our partners. On the M&A front, for example, we no longer take on that technical debt that normally comes along with an acquisition. We now just migrate, as part of our integration plan, we migrate directly over to the AWS platform on any new acquisition we do. Saves a lot of time and money. So the payoff has been great. We just recently launched our all-digital platform, GuardianDirect.com. It allows consumers to purchase, actually research, purchase, self-service for Guardian products and a set of third-party products in the insurance sector. So for all you giggers out there, take a look. You'll probably find a product you'd like. And if you don't, post for a job. I'm happy to say that AWS is our preferred cloud provider. Over the next few years, we'll migrate the remaining workloads over to AWS, the majority of them anyway. So looking ahead, we're going to continue to look excited about how we can modernize our remaining legacy core platforms. We'll continue to expand our digital experience platforms on AWS. We're going to look to leverage the data capabilities, gaining new insights into our clients and our customers, but more importantly, continue to improve on our fraud detection and protection. We'll continue to explore ways how to improve our customer experience capabilities with AI, AR, and VR, and natural language processing. This is going to allow us to better service our customers when, where, and how they prefer. In a highly digital transformation like this, it's allowed us to be a very innovative company in a highly regulated industry. We see AWS as a clear competitive advantage for us. So we've done this in a way, too, that supports our core three values. We do the right thing. People count. And we hold ourselves to very high standards. And although much has changed in our, in our whole culture and the technology that we've been using, these values will not and have not. Because even in the cloud, everyone deserves a guardian. Thank you. Thank you.